Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a look at Primal Light. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing and hitting that like and bell for more notifications. It really helps out. Without further ado, let's have a look. An evil spirit known as the Phantom has burned Krog's village to the ground and he must set out and collect the 12 legendary artifacts with their power, undo the tragedy, save his people, and get his old life back. Primal Light is a passion project developed by two guys over the course of three years while working their day jobs. And that is very commendable because they've done a really good job here. And it is a 2D platformer akin to games such as Castlevania or the excellent Blasphemous. The game is truly a love letter to the hardcore platformers of the 16-bit era or the early 90s, which is the era I grew up in. It sees the main character traversing from left to right through a level with a number of lives and slashing with his weapon in two different directions, that being up or left and right. The gameplay is pretty challenging as to be expected, as were the games back in the day, they were really really hard, but there are different difficulties to select, from easiest to hardest, making the game more accessible. There's a myriad of different platforms and traps to climb and avoid, and although the game only has 10 levels, it will take the most hardened of players a long time to get to the very end. Luckily, if you lose all your lives, you still start at the beginning of that level, so you don't start from the very, very beginning from level one. In that sense, it's very different from the games of old. Exploration is highly encouraged as there are a number of hidden collectibles, unlockable upgrades, and passive abilities which help you in your adventure. What's more at the end of the level there are some epic boss battles which are both jaw-dropping and enjoyable to fight. The detailed pixelated visuals are beautiful and they are reminiscent of the 16-bit era with great use of parallax and a vast array of pixelated colors to make the world stand out. Equally, the soundtrack is bombastic and I never got bored of listening to the epic tunes whilst I traversed through the hellish prehistoric world where a strange looking protagonist lives. I had no frame drop issues or any other nasty bugs etc whilst I was playing the game which is a nice surprise. Primal Light cost £13.49 or your original equivalent and will require a measly 224 megabytes to download. This stunning passion project is mainly aimed at those who like platforming, linear adventures and are nostalgic for games of the 90s. I did enjoy my time playing this game especially because although it was tough at times, it still had that learning curve where you learn from mistakes, you go back and execute that jump or defeat that boss and you're successful maybe a second or third or fourth time. And it feels really rewarding. We give Primal Light an eight out of 10. Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, please like, subscribe and all that jazz. Also, if you're looking for the Nixie Wizard, which is the cool looking GameCube controller for the Nintendo Switch, please consider using our affiliate link down below and enter the coupon code GRINNY for 10% off your order. Also, I believe shipping is free if an order is over $49. So yeah, don't wait. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace.